Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share this journal that I just made um, and there's a couple of things I wanted to tell you about it before we get into it is I think that sometimes some of you that maybe want to make a junk journal don't because you feel like it would be super, super time consuming. But I wanted to tell you that I made this in about two and a half hours. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a three week long process, although sometimes they're super elaborate and they are. But I wanted to show you that you can, you can put one together pretty quickly. Now, I wanted to mention the cover before we get into the inside. This cover material was given to me by my friend Carol. And Carol, I want to thank you so much. When my daughter saw the material, she went crazy for it and she said yes that's what she wanted her journal cover to be so on top of that material i put this cut out of a of a coffee pot and then here is half of a doily and then over top of that i did black lace i did a very simple three hole stitch to bind it she chose the blue so that's what we went with and on the back it says fair trade and then there's like this coffee cup here more of the doily and then i wrapped the lace all the way around now i have to say thank you to my sister andy hi andy thank you because she gave me some old calendars that she was done using and they were in coffee theme so i was able to get all of the images for this journal from her calendars that she gave me. So in the front, I mostly have this here to stabilize the material, but also this is a nice pocket, so Amanda can put pens in here or extra papers or whatever. Most of the pages are blank. She has a variety of papers that I've created. This one is the coffee and gold. This one is just coffee and I just put a little embellishment here down the side, part of the, uh, one of the calendars. This says notes and dates and that was also part of the calendar and I cut it out and obviously put it here. This is a piece that I had done my eco die on and I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, it is slightly, but this was one of the big huge leaves that I used and you can see the center of it there. If I touch a page and I don't say anything, just assume it's a coffee dyed page, as are these. So my other friend Tina gave me some papers, and so I went ahead and I coffee dyed them just to make them really rich, and then when I put these coffee embellishments on it, it worked so well together, so I was really happy about that. And then on the other side is eco dye. So I had coffee dyed the paper she gave me and then I eco dyed with those plants. And that, you know, kind of turned out pretty cool. And then another piece of the calendar. I put a vintage music sheet in here and this was given to me by my friend Rosa at Sun and Moon Arts. This was another one of the pages that I coffee dyed it. And then once I embellished it with this that says cafe on it, uh, I think it works. I think it works really well. Another eco dye. I put a few vintage envelopes in here and I just embellished them a little bit. This is a vintage bank statement also. There's a few vintage pieces in here. This was another piece that my friend Tina gave me and it was a little bit, it came brown already so it was a little bit dark for the way that I typically work. So I did the eco dyeing on it on this side and then I put um, the the uh, calendar pieces on here and you know it turned out great. Here's another vintage envelope. This is a one signature journal. So this is a vintage statement. It's the back of it and I of course embellished it with some coffee stuff. Here's the front of it. This is probably the other half of one of the vintage envelopes. More eco dye.
This says donuts. This is the center of our one signature and I did give her a few charms on here. So here's a bead and then I put, I picked this shaped charm because it kind of reminded me of a coffee bean and then I used this nice kind of bronze colored glass bead and I thought they look cute on here. Just something to dress it up a little bit. Little, uh, I used a napkin and I'll show you the pieces as we come by them, but this is a piece of the napkin that I had cut off and then just adhered to the paper. This is another piece of the napkin. And this envelope is dated uh, 1989, November 8th, 1989. This is more of the napkin piece. I'm really kind of into using the napkins lately. I really like how the type shows through the napkin. I think that's pretty cool. Another vintage envelope. The date on this one is November 7th, 1979. And I did a little napkin embellishment on that as well. So this is one of the brown pieces again. And I just added, this is from the calendars that I took apart. And then this is a napkin. Well, a piece of a napkin. Another piece of a napkin on a vintage um, bank statement. This is another vintage envelope and the date on this is looks like 1988, January 11th. And I um, put some napkin on here as well. One of my friends gave this to me, and if it was you, let me know. I can't remember who gave that coffee napkin to me, but thank you. Uh, it came in, it came into good use, as you can see. Just some embellishments on the paper, just to give it a little splash. Again, nothing elaborate, but just, you know, I wanted to dress it up. All right, so here's the other side of the one that was brown with the circles. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna put this donut on here, and then this says enjoy the day, and it, it, it takes it from just being brown to, you know, kind of being fun. This is another one of the eco dies. I don't know if they're showing up, but they they look pretty cool. And then this was uh, one of the papers that was you know a little dark for my taste, but it works in this journal. And so I cut out a big thing that says coffee. Another eco die paper. Here's the last napkin piece. And then here's the back pocket of the journal. And this, the last coffee dyed paper. And there we go. So that's our journal. Like I said, it only took me a few, you know, two and a half hours, maybe three. And I found it, you know, I think it turned out cute. And um, so if you want to do a junk journal, you can always do a simple one to start with if you want to just kind of get your feet wet. Thanks for watching. See you soon.